operates a butterfly. More an enricher. It, it, yeah. It, it, I'm guessing that you're Ernie. Yeah. Hey. I am. You mind if I film you? I have a YouTube channel. I'm just filming some of the planes to oh. so I can get famous. I see. Well, well, not. Everybody <laughs> likes to claim fame. But... <laughs> I'm not famous. So. Yeah. So this is yours, eh? Yep. What what model is it? Uh, this is a Zen Air model 601. Um, Zen Air, of course, is a factory that's based in Midland. In Ontario. In Ontario. Oh, I didn't know that. When you build an aircraft like this, you are, in Canada at least, you are deemed to be sufficiently familiar with it. You can do your own maintenance, your own modifications, your own whatever you want to do. Oh, wow. So, as it relates to certified aircraft, of course, you have to have aircraft maintenance. An actual license, CAA license mechanics. License mechanics. There, mechanics yeah. uh, at least oversee it and sign it off. So is Karen the lady who owns this place? Oh, is that your wife? Because there's a car and owns this place, yeah. Yeah, she's got deeper pockets than my wife. <laughs> yeah, that Mustang somewhere else, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Well, Hanu is a very, uh, very successful uh, builder developer, so. All right. Well, that's where the, where the nickels and dimes come from. And, you know, if I had that money, I'd be playing around with airplanes too. Well. Probably something more like this. Though. Yeah, when I built this, uh, 28 years ago, I think at the end of the day I figured I'd put about 40,000 into it. But uh, you know, you can't uh, you can't build anything for that kind of money anymore. You can't buy much for that, can you? Well, yeah, you can, especially if you get into older, uh, you know, typically certified aircraft. Yeah. Um, you know, 25, 28, you know, old Cessnas and stuff. That, by the way, that plane on the very end there is a, is a, That's a, a Zen Air 300. Oh, Zen Air. And so it's again the same designer, this Heinz, has designed this airplane line. The Robins have the um, the wingtips. We, 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 we flew a lot of Robins in England. There was a lot of Blackpool Airport where I lived. Okay. And they have the little uh, tipped up wingtips on the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. I used to fly, just fly the Cessna 150s, but I, I flew uh, K3 sailplanes, oh. the old German sailplanes, mm -hmm. single seat, single seaters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't fly here, it's just it's expensive. <laughs> More so, you think? But it's expensive and I, I had a stents in my heart, so I have to do the medicals and stuff. Oh, yes. That's how I found out I had high blood pressure actually when I went for my pilot's license medical. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that happens. So then I switched back to gliding, and then I bought a paraglider, and started jumping off mountains. So, uh, <laughs> so strictly unpowered flight. Uh, not strictly. I've seen the Subaru engine used before, and because uh, it's a flat floor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it, like an aircraft. So what mode did you, did you put in this? Designed engine uh, made by Bombardier Rotax. Oh yeah, that's why I had in the CD. I had one of them in CD. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, it's the, uh, this is a flat four. This particular model is 80 horse, uh, but the same form factor come in a hundred horse version. And then from there you go up to a turbocharged, which is about 130. Yeah. And then now they've got a fuel injected version as well, which is even more horsepower. Oh well, that looks pretty cool. Huh? That's probably one of the oldest uh, of its type around. That's uh, a Petenpole, it's called. A what? It's named after Bernie Petenpole, who invented Peten that down in uh, Wisconsin and had a, a uh, Ford straight four cylinder engine on the front with a big radiator up yeah the front i was looking pump. at that it's like it mounted as if it's uh, an afterthought yeah. yes. i was talking to this guy as well peter it's quite a hot rod yeah he's through came down flew down from peterborough steam skybolt it's called yeah 
yeah, that old yellow kitty hole. Probably oh, very similar, but that definitely looks like pets. It's not going to be a very complicated start process then, is it, for this? Sorry? It's not going to be a complicated start process, is it? Start up, no. Push a button and away it goes. <laughs> you hope, you hope. You hope, yeah. You hope. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's electric start and a 12 volt system on board, of course, or anything else you want. Manual choke? Yeah, well, actually, that engine, you mentioned you have Rotax in a sea do or ski do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, My, that was manual choke as well. It's um, carbureted. It's not really, yeah, it's got a Bing carburetor. And uh, so it's not a choke in the traditional sense of the word that it operates a butterfly. More an enricher. It, it, yeah, it creates a bypass circuit that puts the fuel directly into the throat of the Yeah, that's, that's like a two-stroke. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I used to be a motorbike mechanic, and yeah, there's, there's a flap one in there, and then there's the enrich. Okay, yeah. Just pulls the plug and sucks more fuel in. Yeah. Right, well, that's good. And this has dual carbs, one for each of the two banks. So you have to balance them then. Yeah. That's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I know. See you later. Yeah, he told me. I forgot now. Oh, okay. It's made, forgettable. It's made in Mid made in Midland. Made where? The kit's made in Midland. Midland. Yeah.